a border outpost in southern Turkey, a route into Syria and the rebel stronghold of Idlib, a region cut off from the rest of the world. These armed men are rebel fighters from the Islamist group Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, which is historically linked to al-Qaeda. These rebels control the province of Idlib, the only enclave that has not been recaptured by the forces of Bashar al-Assad. The region is also the final refuge for thousands of displaced civilians who have fled violence elsewhere in Syria. What's going to happen to us? Look at this child. In the eyes of the Assad regime, he's a terrorist, another enemy to fight off. That's why they bombed my village. A local stadium, completely empty. As a prime target for airstrikes, it's a huge risk. As a result, these women and children are taking shelter in the basement, where there's no running water and where only one humanitarian organisation passes by to supply aid, just from time to time. I've had to move campsites seven times according to where the regime troops make their advances. My children are sick, I'm pregnant and I bleed a lot. It's terrible. Similar stories can be heard in each one of these tents. More than one million people have arrived in the last three months, housed in these enormous camps, but also by the side of the road or amidst olive trees and herds of sheep. Four generations of one family are staying in this tent, grandmother, mother, her daughters and their children. If I eat a piece of bread, I only take a little bit. It's not a problem if I'm hungry because the children have to eat first. Very few international humanitarian organisations are present in Idlib. It's just too dangerous because any civil infrastructure could be a target. This hospital is still up and running, a miracle according to one doctor here. It's more dangerous than the front line because the Assad systematically targeted hospitals. The ceasefire agreed upon just a week ago is holding for the time being, but the UN continues to denounce the largest humanitarian crisis in the world.